Orchestronic is uh, basically uh, three elements combined. Orchestronic is uh, orchestra or classical music. Uh, it's spatialization, so meaning sounds are moving around. And it's the third element is then uh, the real musician or the human being playing with it. And Orchestronic then is combining this sampling-based composition with the real human being, the musician, the orchestra, chamber orchestra, whatever, and then moving around the public. I started from zero, so at that time I didn't have any material to work with. And there were no musicians or orchestras I could work with. And then I started sampling from a library I had or sampling from recordings I took from CDs and I discovered that this sampling process I used for like I did it in hip hop before because I'm also coming from hip hop gives me the opportunity to uh, create structures um, like one can do in compositions like making arrangements out of those samples and then at one point I in 2012 when I was working with Midori Zayla which is a fantastic baroque violinist I had this idea because it was a project about Johann Sebastian Bach and the idea was uh, creating a world um, which merges uh, the baroque violin and the recording so the electronics I created out of her CD the textures and the composition and then I I asked her to play uh, to play uh, with these compositions and then I got a very a seamless mix of those both worlds because the textures textures are quite similar and I guess this was the point where I discovered okay what can we do with that in the next step for example if I would work with orchestra samples and adding an orchestra to it. Uh, when I'm starting a project so nowadays I have 10 years of, of in a way experience I collected over the years of course I'm not starting uh, from the same point I did 10 years ago but usually when I'm when I'm starting a project I'm taking the material from a CD or recordings out of a studio I'm putting those uh, recordings into my software and I'm really like going through the track and sampling stuff and listening to it and then I'm maybe repeating something pitching stuff something sequencing something and then if if it's inspiring and if I'm yeah, if the material is good with me, <laughs> then I, it becomes, uh, it, it can become a, a, a world or a composition out of that. And then in the next step, if we are working, for example, with orchestra, then I'm, I would think, okay, what is already done by the electronic part and what can be added then from the other real instruments world. In 2012, when I was doing this project with uh, the Baroque violinists, I went home to experience some sounds. And the idea, the basic idea of the production was to work with four speakers. And I, I uh, built up a setup at home with those four speakers. And I was sitting in the middle of those compositions I experienced until that point. And then I had the idea of Oh, it was. It would be. It would be really fantastic if the stuff is circulating, rotating around my head. And I was like, uh, but I don't have any clue about how to realize this idea. And then, after a certain amount of time, we found someone who is working with the software from the IRCAM Institute in Paris, and he made us. Uh, a graphic interface on the software because we have 
we wanted to use just a few controllers to control the software and we had this first production where every composition consisting of different stems then could be rotating around the public. The stage was round and surrounded by eight speakers and uh, every signal was then, I could make every signal rotating around the public. And this was the, the basic, the initial idea of, oh, it's moving around us, that's great, what can I do now? Well, future is always uh, difficult to <laughs> to say something about it, but um, as I can say, for example, when I was testing your library, the idea of creating textures out of music played by, let's say, human beings, um, it's already quite close to the idea uh, of uh, synthesizing stuff, sampling things, and then adding them again to uh, an orchestra or, or musicians in general. So I think, and this can be done on a keyboard, for example, so one could play in, in a live concert. This is already quite close to the dream I had 10 years ago, because um, I was thinking like, okay, how can I uh, make all those make all those pro productions more in a live way? Because everything is is already produced when we are working. It's it's uh, tons of work before the production is taking place. Stem mastering and, and days of looking for the details. And now there's a library for the first time, which is exactly doing what I'm doing, meaning like someone recorded in a way randomly musicians getting certain text textures and they can be played on a keyboard that's that's awesome <laughs>